So let's talk about the three wise men and the gifts they brought. Typically, we think of three wise men, but the Bible doesn't actually specify how many came. In Matthew chapter 2, it says, There came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. The Strong's definition for wise men is an oriental scientist, by implication, a magician or sorcerer. Most scholars agree that the wise men came from Persia, which is modern-day Iran. But interestingly, many Chinese Christians believe that one of the wise men came from China. The reason is because between 3 BC and 6 BC, there is a record of the Chinese Emperor John Ping about a special comet that appeared. Most Christian scholars agree that Yeshua was born somewhere between 5 to 6 BC. Altair was observed for about 70 days. Pause to read. What made Emperor John Ping realize the star's appearance was important? The primary meaning of Altair, the key supporting pillar of the heavens, is the perfect sacrifice. Altair is the constellation Aquila. In Chinese, Aquila means the heaven eagle constellation. Chinese astronomers and emperors interpreted this information to mean that a king was coming. Emperor Guangwu reigned during the time of the Messiah's death and resurrection. The fact that he and the astronomers knew about Yeshua is shown in the Chinese historical records around 31 AD. Yin and Yang have mistakenly switched, and the sun and moon were eclipsed. The sins of all the people are now on one man. Pardon is proclaimed to all under heaven. And another quote says, In the day of Gui Hai, the last day of the month, there was a solar eclipse. The emperor avoided the throne room, suspended all military activities, and did not handle official business for five days. Another record says, Eclipse on the day of Gui Hai. Man from heaven died. As we know, when Christ died, there was darkness that covered the earth. According to Mark 15:33, it says, From the sixth hour until the ninth hour, darkness came over all the land. Three days after the eclipse, this was recorded by Chinese astronomers. During the reign of Emperor Guangwu, on the day of Bing Yin of the fourth month of Jianwu, a halo, a rainbow, encircled the sun. Christ's resurrection apparently caused a celestial event that was observable. Okay, now back to the wise men and the gifts they brought. They offered gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Traditionally, it is thought that the gold represented Yeshua's kingship. The frankincense represented his priestly role, since frankincense was routinely used in the temple. And myrrh was a prefiguring of his death, since it was used in embalming rituals and other ceremonies. Okay guys, I'm running out of time. Like, share, and comment. God bless.